the starting lineups for both sides. You've got Jensen and Williamson, Belina for the Thunderbirds, as well as Doherty and Johnston inside. And Vieta, Neepkins, McQueen, Johnson and Peely for the Utes. And then Roberts, the head coach for Utah in her eighth season as the head coach. You see her numbers 11-0 and to start this season. Her best start since 2017. And trying to finish off this non-conference season before they head back into conference play. Already one conference win in the books. That was a game against Colorado recently. So 1-0 and as well. Pick fifth to start. And the tip is up. And here we go. Crystal and Anthony Leverett's with you. Glad you could be with us. Utah starting in man-to-man. On the back cut, and that is not an easy thing to guard, Anthony. And Utah will do some of that as well. I'm surprised that one got by. Yeah, the, very important for Southern Utah to start the game off and have uh, you know, productive, efficient um, offensive possessions. Jenna Johnson tries to go high to low, and it gets partially tipped. And looking to push the Thunderbirds. They know they've got to take care of the basketball. As they, as, as just as I say it, it's tipped away. That's Peely with her hands up. Yeah, you, 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 they have to finish possessions with shots. They, they cannot turn the ball over. Utah's going to run on Maycor misses. Really nice play there uh, in the paint. And now some full-court pressure by Utah. They do this a couple of different ways. There's some zone press, which they're in right now, and they also do some man-to-man -man stuff in the full court. Yeah, they have an option to trap. Sometimes they will, sometimes they won't. There's the kick out to Bellina, the three ball good, a team that averages about six threes per game. Coach Sanders got to be very happy with that to start to, to start the game. Three-point lead for Southern Utah, and Lynn Roberts said, you know, I don't want the team to come out flat. They were having a tough time the other day. She got on them a little bit. She said they had a slow start. They got the win at Weber State, but still not the way she wanted to start. And Johnson takes it in strong. Yeah, it's the, the bigs for, for the University of Utah do a great job at the high post, handling the basketball, get to the rim, play downhill, and then that leads to threes as the game goes on for their other players. Yeah, we had talked about that, and you said they have got to make sure they're looking on the interior first. It'll open up so many other things as the kick out there. They find Doherty no good. And Neeplins will bring it up. Such versatility for this Utah team. Any player gets the rebound, they can pretty much bring it up the floor. Yeah, very, very skilled at all the positions. Peely trying to draw some contact. Instead, she draws two defenders and the takeaway. And now the Thunderbirds will look to push. Get the shot before the D gets started. And that three no good. Extra effort on the O boards, but not able to get the putback. Yep, see the ball being pushed in transition, looking to get the ball in the paint and score early in the clock. They do a great job of it. And now Utah back within one. That shot just short. Peely trying to keep it alive instead. The rebound down to Johnston. It's a very good rebounding team, Southern Utah. And that one trickles in over the rim. Baskets here to start the game to Southern Utah. That is not going to make her happy. You know, six points, a couple of threes for Bellina. Peely right back at you with the three ball. Yeah, she's a legit six-footer out of Anchorage, Alaska. The transfer from USC this past year. Has worked through multiple injuries over the past couple of seasons. Some fresh legs on. There's Kelsey Reese with the ball. Deja Young, as well as Taya Sidberry. McQueen using the screen right through. Yeah, really good possession there. Running there. Pick and roll motion. Uh, staying patient. Getting a great shot. So Lynn Roberts going to her bench pretty early in this one. But maybe just looking for that spark. Some fresh legs. There's, there's a takeaway by Reese. And now the transition. Young out on the break. Too much on it. An extra chance with the offensive rebound. Yeah, when you play with as much pace as they do, you have to play your bench. They hit whack conference play after the holiday break, but it's tough timing right now to face this Utah team. Yeah, you want to be, you want to have your full, uh, your full, full arsenal when you come into the Huntsman Center to play this team. That is for sure. The number 12 Utah Utes over Southern Utah. Crystal Blunt, Anthony Leverett's with you, and Anthony turnovers really plaguing the Thunderbirds before that timeout. Was able to get out and go on a run. Shot clock down to five. Young, little hesitation, gets in a little closer. Great take. Oh. Yeah, they, they force almost 20 turnovers per game to their opponents so far this year. And holding their opponents down to tough shooting as well. There's a give and go, and a high post shot good for Williamson. Great little two-man action right there. Uh, leading to a wide-open shot. 
Averaging a double-double, redshirt junior out of Adelaide, Australia, Lizzie Williamson, transfer from Utah State a couple of seasons ago to Southern Utah. And he's had to increase for minutes. That whole starting unit really has for Southern Utah with a couple of injuries. Out as Muscler, that one up good. Kelsey Reese with an and one. That's a great baseline drive. Post hook, hooked up the lane and great bounce pass, great finish. You see the baseline drive here. Post hooks up the lane. Great hands to catch that thing in traffic and put that thing in the basket. Yeah, it was a decent pass, but it was fairly low where she had to catch it with a lot of bodies around her. So good job by Reese to hang on to it. The sophomore out of South Australia. And that's a big time skill set for a post player when dribble penetration is happening to find that open spot to give an opportunity for your guard to be able to deliver that pass. Force pass there, take away by the Utes. Can they convert it? Um, good hustle by Sidberry to keep it alive and puts it up there, the freshman. Great job in pick and roll defense by Utah there. Force a tough shot. Just short on the three, but the long rebound, another chance. For the Thunderbirds into the lane. Ball fake by Jensen. Puts it up good. Went and got herself a basket. Senior out of Castledale, Utah. Transfer from Utah Valley. And now out running is Jensen. The fast break points. Pick and roll. Sidberry. Movement without the basketball. Samantha. Justin as well as Sharita Doherty and they work it inside three for their last three field goals they needed it as sticking with it that's Deja Young yeah sticking with it's exactly right a little busted play but went back and got the ball got herself under control and put it in great addition a season ago transfer from UT Martin but continuing to push breaking the pressure the play call is so Barry off the mark, long rebound, Reese trying to clean it up, and instead they're going to call the offensive foul. Just time and score, and then making sure you get that last shot of the quarter. And so the starting unit back on, except Deja Young stays on, and there's Neepkins with an interception good. Well, maybe they knew what they were doing. They got the last <laughs> shot of the quarter anyway. Yep, a little spark off the bench, Gianna Neepkins, and that's going to do it for the first quarter of play. Great high-low. Started with a great duck-in and great footwork. Double team down low. They kick it around. We saw the Thunderbirds working on that today. It's great extra pass. Great execution. They just didn't finish the play. Yep, they had a look. Just didn't get the shot to go. Peely. Ball fake. Help D coming over and drawing some contact. And it's tough this time of the year. That's Sam Johnston, the junior. Guard really came down and said, I want to play for you, Mom. Yeah, uh, I had a chance to coach my daughter for a few years in, in high school. It's a, it's, a, it's a very, very fun experience. Yeah, especially when they're happy that you're doing it. Yeah, that's sure. right. <laughs> <laughs> and you still get along with her, so that's good. Uh, uh, the story of this first half here is, is Southern Utah being able to handle that pressure and not just handle it, but score against it. A little miscue in the high post. And I think... I think she might have gotten lost uh, yeah. on the shot clock there. I yeah, so. I don't think that's a shot that they were looking for. Uh, <laughs> I think Bellina great pass. Down, yeah. And there's another high low. Uh, great delivery, great finish. Sidberry in double digits. She's got 12 points. And the assist to Inish Vieta, sophomore guard out of Portugal. I, I'm impressed with Doherty here and how she's handling this, having the ball in her hands a lot. Um, it hasn't made a lot of baskets. Yeah, I mean, this pace and the pressure that she's got defending her as she just collides up high on a screen, and that one won't go for Neepkins. These are the things that make a, a coach <laughs> kind of put their hands in their, in their face in their hands, I think, because we just saw Coach Roberts. Uh, that's why I'm bald. <laughs> exactly. Neepkins. Vieta. She's got the range. Too much. Long rebound. Neepkins again, keeping it alive, and too much. Utah, after a slow start, they've been in control the majority of the way, but Southern Utah staying right there in it as the three ball won't go for Jensen. Yeah, Utah would like to finish this half off uh, with the, with the bang here, get some momentum heading into the locker room. Yeah, they've definitely kind of gone in waves. Sidberry, too much. And a collision at the free throw line, and it stays 
alive. Two on the shot clock. Palmer shot no good. And the rebound finally into the hands of Jensen. Sidberry is everywhere. She's just, she is an energizer. Yeah, and now out guarding a much smaller player in Bellina. Briar Tronier, 43 in back. On the road, playing a, you know, a power five school. Chance you can to get the score. And now an 11 point Utah lead. Got the second. Izzy Palmer running the point. As Johnson just keeps working hard inside. Yeah, there's another run that they ran. Uh, called a pike cut uh, to get the ball uh, potentially in the middle of the floor but after the big set the the screen just ducked in afterwards and a great delivery for an easy basket and that bucket stopped a two and a half minute drought by the youth never shied away from the play and just stuck with it well it's an it's an under talked about thing with big players that uh, post players down inside long uh, attack to the basket instead of just taking a shot take a strong one that you're going to make yeah didn't rush it at all back beautiful forth. back <laughs> and the look yeah. the feed from the largest lead of the ball game for utah it's been over four minutes since a field goal has fallen, and finally that stops that drive. It's going to be a handful. For the T-Birds. Back on is Williamson inside. Tronier will take a seat, so trying to give a rest to that short bench for the Thunderbirds. It's a really, really smart basketball play right there. Four, now five points for Gianna Neepkin. Averaging 14 points per game. The sophomore from Duluth, Minnesota, gets both free throws to go. She's shooting 51%. Inbound, baseline jumper good. That's Doherty. Five points for her, and now Utah looking to push. Yeah, great execution by Southern Utah, but you can't rest. Yeah. Yeah, certainly so. There's a missed opportunity there for Bellina. If they stay connected here, not let Utah go on an early run. Yeah, they all have great hands. They really do, and good awareness. Spieley found Johnson that last time, though, the turnover. Megan Jensen in the high post, now working down to the low post. Z Williamson up high. Gonna skip down to the corner. Shot clock down to three. Got to take it. Oh, and at the last second, Williamson. Hand off to McQueen, and there's just stepping into the opening. Jensen, good read defensively. And she's out running. She starts the play. She finishes the play. Uh, again, getting a transition back before Utah can get their defense set. Yeah, it's really worked for them very well on this one so far. This is a Southern Utah team that's had a very tough schedule. They've already faced some Pac-12 opponents as McQueen, a much needed... Southern Utah, a trip to Gonzaga, never easy. A trip to Oregon, a loss there, a tough one. And at Colorado. See that ball get into the paint, make that baseline pass, and then make one more. Yeah, quick passing, important. Well, they're so unselfish, as we talked about. They uh, they, they share the ball so well. Uh, everybody's unselfish, and, and they all pass the ball well. As one for two from the line. For Doherty. Drive in good. Neepkins. Refused the on-ball screen that time and drove baseline and went. Last few times they drove baseline, they made that pass to the baseline drifter. This time she went and made the play for herself. Full court pressure really slowing down the Thunderbirds a bit more in this possession. Kick out to Jensen. She thought about it. Trying to get some space and away from Peely and does. Finger roll good. Really impressive take. In time. A good read by Gianna Neepkins. Sophomore from Duluth, Minnesota. Peely takes one way, goes the other. Jump hook to her left shoulder. So this travel for Southern Utah, stopping a bit of a break. Finger yeah. roll by Peely. Pretty. Flicks it into the lane. That's Jensen. Left handed layup too much. And Utah, again, just putting the pressure on, running in transition. Oh, in the first quarter or the second quarter, but as the game wears on, that continual have to sprint up and down in between every single possession to get back, it wears on your Southern Utah Utah's going to really, really need to, to, to handle that transition here over the next few minutes. Yeah, that's a good point. Both free throws good for Neepkins. So run and trying to add to it. Neepkins. High Arger. And Vieta. 
a second chance. Oh, beautiful look inside. Johnson with the finish. And they just keep putting pressure on Southern Utah with their transition and their pace. And another turnover now. Four turnovers in the last two minutes for Southern Utah. Trying to draw the charge, but they don't blow the whistle, and it leads to a three ball. That hurts. When Sharita Doherty got herself there outside the arc, that could have possibly been an offensive foul. Instead, it goes Utah's way. Sam Johnson will bring it across. Trying to drive baseline. She gets fouled. Vieta picking her small will take a seat. It puts Doherty to the line. It's the first we got a chance when we were talking to Coach Roberts today. You know, defense. Yeah. Uh, they did not like the numbers that they had a season ago. It's a much different look. She she took it from some Texas Tech coaches. She tried to force their opponents to places that are not high percentage areas, and um, it takes a little bit for a team to kind of get that 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 rhythm. Well, and if you can defend it all with as good as they are offensively, it's going to be a it's a great recipe for success. They did they have Williamson down low, and she got the shot. And the offensive board to Megan Jensen. Williamson with the layup, so breaking the pressure. They've got numbers. Jensen inside. Reese was there with the block shot. Good job getting back, keeping the hands up by Kelsey Reese. Sophomore, South Australia. Her sister Darcy is senior at UW. Oh, and they make them pay with the three ball. And you said for Utah, they average nine per game. And Sidberry's top side D knocks that one away. Utah out running. And Sid Perry, I love it when you start the play and you finish it as well. Opportunity she gets, she is running in transition, trying to get herself to the front of that rim. Again, making another play defensively. Wow. And watch her bring it up. Sid Perry dishing it off. Young. And that's where you can see Utah just starting to relax. Kelsey Reese inside, trying to get positioning. Meekins on the drive. To get herself to the rim and get herself to the free throw line. Ten points for Gianna Neepkins trying to add to it. And she has four assists, four rebounds at Weber State. Pretty impressive and pretty nice to be able to have good, strong good basketball in this state. Uh, getting better all the time. Certainly so. And a takeaway. Sidberry again. The active hands. The layup good. Yeah, she has got her fingerprints all over this basketball game trap down low there she is again poking it away shooting two shots number 32 as to the line Sharita Doherty grad student averaging 12 points per game and there's Citeo Sidberry the 6'1 freshman played at Judge Memorial High School here in Salt Lake City just down the street Kick out to Palmer. And can't get it. Good box out by the Thunderbirds. Southern Utah would love to have a great offensive possession here in the quarter with the with the basket and go down and get a stop. Yeah, I think the Coach Sanders, you know, she knows they're definitely shorthanded. Uh, not not where you wanted to be at this point. You've got high expectations, um, but you're missing some key players, you know, starters, and I mean, six total players out right now with injuries. They're hopeful to get three or four of those players back, though, uh, before conference player right after this holiday break. Feeling like you're always in scramble mode because they're playing so fast, you're having to catch them and get, get back in the play all the time. Uh, and it's that early possession, not just typical what we'd call fast break. She's got 13 points. Johnson's been so good, gets an and one opportunity Trying to add to it, and she's been so active, especially in the low post in this game, and gets the three-point play. Back on, Jenna Johnson will take a seat. Shot clock winding down. Both teams have been on a bit of a scoring drought. Vieta lines it up and sticks it. Defensive execution. Uh, driving the basketball, making a pass, and then making one more pass before the defense can recover. Lean to an easy three. Six points for Vieta, and right back at you before the defense got set up. Yeah, just, just continual pressure to the paint early in the possession, and that isn't going to show up as a transition basket, but it's because the bigs run so hard that they get down there early in the possession, they're able to score. 
12 points for Alyssa Peely coming off of the 20 point outing in their win against Weber State. She's had three 20 plus games in a row as Alyssa Peely. With high efficiency. Yeah. And, and this is why. Uh, just again, you know, it, it would sound like a broken record. The trailing big to feed the ball to her. And she knows what to do with it when she gets it down there. Yeah, she comes into this game third in the nation in field goal shooting, shooting 68% from the floor. She likes that little free throw line jumper. 17 for Doherty. Neepkins. Oh, a high effort. She gives that ball such a great... Working herself back from the ACL injury last year, but great to see her now. This is her third game. It will just take a little while to get those wheels back and feel yeah. comfortable having them underneath you. What a beautiful pick and roll. Cleared side. Great great for the local kids to have so many opportunities to go play at the uh, and, and, and not all those programs. I would say. I, I, I would agree with that wholeheartedly. Uh, missed free throw opportunity though for uh, Coach Sanders was up clapping. She liked the defensive effort and then the push at the other end. Yeah, it, so, so the Utah's just continued to compete hard. They're just physically outmatched, but th there is no lack. Of, they, uh, oh, maybe it was that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, you want to you want to finish these games off the right way, and and th they are. They they they're playing hard. They're continuing to compete uh, right away when they get back. Yep, they sure will. And they'll be elevated up quite a bit. They've had a, a solid big win against, at the time, 16th ranked Oklahoma, and then went to the Bahamas. They faced Ole Miss, Alabama, and got wins there. They like the effort. And Utah goes to 12 and 0 to start this season, tied for the best record at 12 and 0 in the 2019 season. Not an easy task. But you got to be happy. Great effort, especially in the second half for Coach Roberts' team. And now you get a little break before you jump into conference play. Yeah, well, a, a complete, total team win.